Hello, I'm John Schultz with the NASA Office of Inspector General. Europa is one of Jupiter's 79 known moons, and one scientists believe may contain large liquid ocean below its icy surfaces suitable to sustain life. In 2011, the National Research Council determined that a mission to orbit and study Europa would be NASA's second highest priority for large-scale planetary science missions. Congress has taken a strong interest in the project and since fiscal year 2013 has appropriated more than $2 billion for a Europa mission, about $1.3 billion more than the agency requested. Congress has also directed NASA to plan two separate missions, a flyby orbiter mission known as Europa Clipper and a lander mission to place scientific instruments on the moon's surface. It also directed the agency to use the Space Launch System, also called SLS, the agency's heavy lift rocket, currently under development as the launch vehicle for both missions, and specified launch dates no later than 2023 for the orbiter and 2025 for the lander. Our audit found that despite robust early stage funding, NASA's aggressive development schedule, a stringent conflict of interest process during instrument selection, an insufficient evaluation of cost and schedule estimates, and technical workforce shortages have increased instrument integration challenges and development risks for the Clipper mission. In addition, although Congress has directed NASA to use the SLS to launch Clipper, the rocket is unlikely to be available for the mandated 2023 date. Moreover, the project has not incorporated risks associated with using SLS or an alternative launch vehicle into its cost and schedule estimates. Similarly, we found workforce and schedule risks make a 2025 launch date for Europa lander mission also not feasible. We determined that requiring the agency to pursue a lander mission at the same time as working to develop Clipper is inconsistent with the usual process of strategically selecting and prioritizing flagship missions based on the input from the scientific community. In addition, attempts to meet the congressional launch timetable would preclude NASA from fully utilizing available Clipper data when developing the lander to produce the most optimal science data. Finally, a new flagship mission risks negatively affecting the balance and budget of other projects in the planetary science portfolio. We made 10 recommendations to help the Europa mission and future missions achieve technical objectives, meet project milestones, and control costs. To read the full report, please visit our website at oig.nasa.gov. <laughs>